Welcome back to another PCT Short. I'm Jonah Johnson. So the question of today is, is black cutworm gonna be a problem for us, our corn producers here in Ohio? So if we monitor a lot of the trapping networks that the universities such as Purdue, University of Kentucky, and Ohio State University has established this year, we've noted that there has been an increase in the brood that has been brought up into uh, the northern part of the US. So these, uh, this insect does not overwinter in Ohio. It has to be brought up by the strong winds that we've experienced back in April uh, from the south and southwest. Now questions have been asked, we've had an awful lot of winds that have moved directly from the north to the south. How can this pest still be an issue? So that pest did get moved up here. The Ohio State Network trap is actually showing uh, some moth captures in northern Ohio. So this is something I just wanted you guys to be aware of that could be a potential problem this year for us. So if you notice like in the field behind me here, we had some dense uh, chickweed and overwinter and annuals that is very attractive to these moths to come and lay their eggs into. And so with knowing that we have the potential in the neighborhood, late planting, um, and some, some young corn that will be emerging if it hasn't planted or is to be planted, just to keep an eyeball on for this pest. Now this pest, uh, when the larvae hatches, it can cut plants once it gets to those larvae that are in that fourth inch star when that three quarters of an inch long that's when they're quite ravenous uh, when they get bigger than that they'll typically want to pupate and they're not as much of a problem now some traits in the corn seeds uh, such as the the stock boring genetic uh, trait packages can help the deter feeding and protect against that but when you have an escalated number we still get, can get plants that can be cut now insecticides can be useful for this but the problem is is that the residuals are, are quite short on that so for more information on this feel free to find us on pctnutrients.com i'm jonah johnson thanks for watching